Welcome back my holiday honeys to another edition of my Christmas specials. And who am I? I'm Indiana Jones. And what am I serving up for you today? Well, some crafts that we like to call thrift flips. Now I only have a few of them for this week, but I think you'll enjoy what I came up with for this collaboration. Today's projects are part of the Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge that is hosted by the Crafting Cousins and co-hosted today by Sammy of Unicorn Dust Designs. If you haven't checked out either one of these crafting channels, well, where have you been? They are awesome. They are funny. They are the sweetest people I have ever had the pleasure to work with. So I hope you check out their channels and the rest of this playlist. Now let's get started. So for my first step is trying to entice my beautiful little Luna kitten off of my workspace and there it worked. Here is this wonderful giant mug that I found at the thrift store. And no, I cleaned it. That's just wax that I had put at the bottom just to secure the candle wick at the very bottom. Now I'm using some candle candles that I had around the house already. This one had a gingerbread flavor, but already the wick had worn out. So I am just trying to reuse the candles that I already had around the house. Now, if you watched Bargain Bethany, she made a really special candle to make it look like a dessert or like a, a beautiful hot chocolate with these little candies. So I'm using this candy mold that I have from the Dollar Tree and filling it with different colored waxes to include later on the top of my beautiful dessert or hot cocoa, like a designer hot cocoa. Now I made my candies in red and green, as you can see right there. I had little green trees and, sto and stockings, but what I did with some of my white candle, what ba Bargain Bethany had done was she whipped the actual like wax, but I didn't have an extra like whipping kind of a utensil that I could use to create the whipping look. So what I did instead was shave off a white candle onto the top of my, um, cocoa cocoa and it worked fine of, of my hot cocoa um, candle and I think it worked just fine and again I mixed uh, like vanilla chai gingerbread so it's gonna have a nice kind of dessert sm smell to it once I burn this beautiful candle and I think it I think this works well so if you don't want to whip the actual wax you can do it this way I was trying to whip it with a, a fork and it didn't quite work I think you need something mechanical and I just I didn't have one around the house. Now I did make sure to shave that candle when the wax below it was still warm so it could settle in. Now all I'm doing is I am placing all of these beautiful little fake candle wax candies on top of my hot cocoa so that it looks like I've just decorated it with some candies. And I think it's coming out really, really cute and I really can't wait to burn it. But there you go, there's a beautiful way to recreate candles that you might just have around the house with a lovely little mug that you might find in the thrift store or that you might just have in your home as well that you've never used and thought, thought well, this is just a great way to reuse that mug. So I hope you try this. And again, check out Bargain Bethany. She has another tutorial that inspired me to make this one. Now, who would ever believe that these two frames I, I found, actually my brother Manny found, on the side of the road. I thought it was so beautiful and such a shame that it was just thrown there or tossed on the side of the road. So I'm so glad that my brother Manny saved it for me because this is all wood. This is all beautiful wood. They are antiques. So I really didn't want to repaint them or anything. I did take the paintings out because they were all faded and yucky they were really yucky there was like bird poop on these it was terrible so here i am i'm going to use that awesome degreaser that you can get at the dollar tree and if you haven't used this please do because you will see what a difference i didn't even have to touch up the paint on this because all i did was use this degreaser and a soft sponge i wouldn't use a hard sponge because you can damage the frame there is a little piece that uh did fall off that i was able to repair but all in all the frame was absolutely beautiful and i know most people would say well just go ahead and paint it white but honestly i just there's some things that you know sometimes we have to keep things as they are especially if these are antiques on the back of this it said something like you know 1952 or something and i just thought what a shame 
to like just replace it with the color white just because I, oh, I want to fit it into my decor. So here I just decided to restore this as best as possible. Again, that awesome degreaser is the best for items like this. Now I did have to find an image to replace in that frame and I found this on the graphics fairy. It is one of two angels that are in a set and I thought how perfect to fill both of these frames but just for today I'm just going to do the one frame. Now what I did so that this would look more like a painting instead of just a printout, I did go over the full image with some paints as you can see there. I tried to recreate the paint colors as close to, as possible to the original printout and just add them on. Now this unfortunately was, I wish I could print this on canvas, but I haven't found a way. If anybody knows how to print this on canvas, I think that would have been a better idea. I did do it on heavy cardstock, but it still um, got a little wavy as you can see there. But I think the fact that the paint just gives it such a better look than just a plain printout. So I was happy with the final result with this beautiful printout and the painting that I put on top. Now it wasn't large enough to fill the, the opening in the frame. So I did use some cardstock or some scrapbook paper that had a beautiful green printout. There it is with gold. And I thought this was perfect for that opening. So all I did here was place it in the opening of that frame, which was easy enough, secured it in, and then I'll cover the back. And there you have it. I think it's such an elegant piece of decor that I'll have for the rest of the season. Last but not least, how lucky was I to find this incomplete set of nutcrackers. Now this, they had it for $3.50, which I thought was a steal because the original price was $9.99. So if you went to buy it at um, Hobby Lobby, it would be $4.50. But since there's one missing, the $3.50 seemed like a very logical price. So I went ahead and bought it at the thrift store and brought it home to start decorating these cute little nutcrackers. And of course, little Luna is here to supervise once again. She is just, she is really a doll. Now I understand she's an American rag doll. Can anybody confirm if anybody knows anything about cats? But according to the coloring that she has on her fur and her beautiful blue eyes, apparently she is a rag doll cat or kitten. So here I decided Instead of using the regular colors of red and green, I decided to continue with this, the scheme of most of my colors, which is that beautiful mint green. And since it is a vintage -y type of color and it also matches with some gingerbread items, I thought the mint green would be perfect. So all I'm doing is covering or painting the entire little nutcracker and I'll be adding some embellishments afterwards. But I think this was such a fun, um, and I can't wait to do the other ornaments here in this collection, but this was just such a fun, fun craft. I've always wanted to decorate my own nutcracker, especially the little ones, for ornaments on my tree. And there you have it. I added a little bit of silver and a little bit of red, and there's a little kitten tail and, and Luna on the other end of my table. Thanks again to Kay, Trish, and Sammy for hosting this Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge. Please remember to check out the rest of the playlist down below. Thank you once again for stopping by and for leaving me the wonderful comments that keep me inspired from week to week. If you are new here, I hope you take a moment and subscribe below so that you can come back for more crafting fun. As I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure. See you soon!